What's up, modern steaders? Today we're gonna to be making some modern homesteader chicken marsala with some of our pasture raised chicken that we harvested yesterday. Let's get to it. For starters, we're gonna need two tablespoons butter, Kerrygold butter if you have it. You're gonna need some mushrooms, minced sure garlic, and then we're gonna need some onion. That looks like a good one. Who gets to cut the onion? I don't know. We have to pull a straw. What do you think? Should we pull straws to see who gets to cut the onion? I'll cut it since it's Father's Day. I like that. It's Father's Day. She gets to cut the onion. How much onion do we need? I'd cut up half of it. <laughs> I get your butter melting. It's a good Father's Day present. Tip one, do not wear mascara. Don't wear mascara when you're cutting up your onions. No. <laughs> it is funny, because I'm not the one who has to cry this time. Onion cutting tips. What are you doing? Come and see me cry. Hi. Well, this is how you don't cry. You have Olivia cut it for you. Do you, you want to cut the onion? Uh, uh. No. Okay, is that you need it? Yeah, let me go put that in. Go we'll buy mushrooms, cut them up. And we'll put them in the freezer so when we have them, they're ready. It's a lot cheaper to buy whole mushrooms and slice them up yourself. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. Stir that up and we'll let the onions brown and the mushrooms get cooked a little bit. And then we'll go to the next step. We were just throwing out our trash, see right here? We're looking out our window at the kitchen garden. And let's go show you. We were just out here yesterday looking at a few things that had poked up and there wasn't that many. There was one string bean seed that had poked up. I don't know how good you can see it with the sun, but look at these in every row. The string beans have come up in some spots there. I don't know, inch and a half, two inches long. Every row to here, that's where we did it to. Onions are really starting to green up. It wasn't like that yesterday. That's just crazy. I was noticing the beets over here. Some beets right here. That's a weed. But you got beets coming up in every row. And then in this garden, oh, we were just saying what this was. Oh, this is the radishes. And then this row over here is one, I think these are the Swiss chards. And it's just amazing how fast like that your vegetables start to grow. That's just a little ADD adventure there. Let's go back inside and continue cooking. Hey Pluto. Grab our Marcello wine while we're over here. We're gonna need five tablespoons of brown sugar. One small container, say 12.7 fluid ounces of Marsala wine, or two cups. One tablespoon of lemon juice. And then we need one and a half cups of chicken stock. Let's go get that. Yes, 
These are looking good. Getting in there, almost. Fogging you guys up with all the goodness. That's a two cup on you. This is just homemade chicken broth from our last year's pasture raised chickens. Now we need to add in our one and a half cups of chicken broth. Our five tablespoons of brown sugar. of lemon juice. Stir it all up and then we will let this render until the liquid is half gone. While the marsala mixture is reducing, we're gonna slice up our pasture-raised chicken that we harvested yesterday. Oh, I smell this onion. Mm -hmm. Am I doing all of it? Yep. We'll cook it all up and then we'll have some leftovers. I'm gonna make them a little smaller though because yours are too big. What do you mean it's thinner? No, like cut them out. Oh, you gotta cut it in half. I gotta cut that now. While we are getting the chicken ready, we'll preheat our frying pan. Some coconut oil. Get the chicken frying up. to be cooking with some fresh chicken from this season. We were just having this discussion. I want to know if you guys have the same discussion. Anytime we cook an onion up, you know, in all three of our houses we've had, it doesn't matter. Our bathroom towels that we use to dry ourselves off with always smell like onions the next time we go take a shower. Do you guys have that happen? People probably yeah. wash those every day. <laughs> <laughs> we don't wash our towels every day. We hang them up to dry and we reuse them for a few days. But do you ever have that happen to you after you get done cutting up onions? If you do, leave it in the comments below. And if you have any theories on why it would happen, <laughs> leave it in the comments below too. Cooking the onions, I don't know. Cutting or cooking? Yeah, it could be cutting or cooking the onions, but we just think it's weird how that always happens. So this is two chicken breasts that we're cooking up. We just want to cook them all the way through. Do we want to use the Instant Pot to make rice? Do you want rice? What else are we going to have with it if we don't have rice? That's fine. <laughs> I'll grab the Instant Pot if you grab the pot. Perfect. made a mess. Make the process faster if you heat the water first. And it doesn't take so long for the Instant Pot to heat up because that's a long spot. And two and a half cups of hot water. Or water. Or 
was in time? 22. Need three tablespoons of organic cornstarch. And it calls for just a splash of water. And this next pot just always amazes me the consistency of this stuff. Like it looks wet and soupy, but it's still like hard. Just don't get that. Now once the liquid has reduced by half, we'll add in our cornstarch. Stir it up good, make sure your cornstarch is melted. Once all the corn starch is dissolved, we just put our chicken in there. Let it get the flavor of the marsala mixture. We'll just leave it in there until the rice is done, stirring it occasionally. Now, since all that stuff's just gotta cook, the Instapot is on and that'll be done when it's ready. We're gonna, we can go finish taking care of the animals now. Oh, you wanna go take care of the animals? What are you doing? Coloring. Ooh. Wanna go? Keeping an eye on the birds. Yesterday we butchered 22 Cornish Cross meat birds. Let's go in and figure out how many barred rocks we have in here now. What are you doing? You got a rough life, don't you? Yep. Now trying to count live animals isn't easy. Yesterday afternoon is the last time I brought feed out to these guys. I brought out two scoops of organic grain, and that's how much is left. With the barred rocks and these guys together, I was bringing out four to five scoops in the morning, and then in the afternoon after work, I'd bring out three to four scoops of grain, and they'd be all gone. So that's quite a bit of grain that the Cornishes were eating, because this is Two scoops from yesterday morning. In here, the bod rocks. Six of them are hens, or will be hen laying hens, and the other ones are roosters. We're gonna keep the roosters and we'll harvest them when they get to wait. The pullets we are selling, so if anybody is interested in some organic, pasture raised bod rock pullets, leave it in the comments below or contact us on our email, which is in our about page. Once the Instapot starts beeping and the timer went off, we gotta let it sit for 10 minutes and do a natural cool down. So after the Instapot's been sitting for 10 minutes, now comes the fun part. He even got me way over here. Libby, do you want your chicken marsala right on your rice? No, 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 no. Right, so Instant Pot makes nice sticky rice, that's for sure. You want your way on top? Yep.
Jonathan, how was your Father's Day present? The fucker? Yeah. Good. That's probably a strange Father's Day present, huh? I like it. Seems like it's so far away. Oh, You're right here. Oh, you gotta get closer to mom now. Is that better? Yeah. I'm only on that side. Oh, that was the matter. You want to switch? No. Because no, no. now you don't hit your elbows when you eat it. Yeah. How's that hair in your face? Not very good. Not very good. We hope you enjoyed today's video. We're really enjoying our modern steader chicken marsala from our pasture raised chicken that we harvested yesterday, huh? Uh huh. Very good. It's good. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps our channel grow. And subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And when you hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell button and that'll send you notifications every time we upload a new video. And we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at... Love the Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.